Darren and Harley with We TJ and Critters. All right, so I got a warranty issue. I got a warranty issue with the OARB. Hey, remember we did all those videos comparing them? Well, this sucker's broke. This one is broke. Get out of there, get out. Yeah, it actually, these come with pretty decent cases. So they're kind of nice and we, we actually keep both of ours in there, but it turns on but then it leaks internally and uh that's registering about 10 12 pounds less it wouldn't register anything in the beginning but at least at least it's registering something now but um we're gonna find out what the warranty is all about with arb okay this is the inflator that's messing up it's reading 17 pounds and it's leaking internally and here it's coming oh it's blowing out right there Here's one of the other inflators. This is one in one of the other vehicles. 27 pounds, so almost 10 pounds less. All right, so I'm filling out the warranty uh, thing right here. This has got to be about the slickest warranty. Um, how did you purchase this? I mean, I'm not gonna go in there. My personal data is up above there, but. Uh, just right here it says inflator no longer reads register zero most of the time uh, then you can I took a screenshot of my invoice dropped it right there and um, I actually took a video right here exactly what the what was what it was doing and it's I airdropped it onto the tablet so but you, I mean I'm transferring it to my tablet but you can do everything right there on your smartphone this is one slick warranty system of course I'm probably gonna get it denied but so after about 10 tries not that many thanks to Jared for not helping uh, what I did let's uh let's get out of this right here Let's do warranty. How do I claim a warrant to start a warranty? One thing I wanted to show you where it says phone number. Oh, sorry, I don't know why it's so dark in here. Where it shows optional, it is not optional. And don't put spaces in there. Now they don't show you that, but it'll keep kicking it out. Now, Jared at ARB. When you go to talk to him, he's not going to help you. Because Jared, well, he doesn't care. He just doesn't care. Yeah, I'm picking on him quite a bit, but... Um, the, the iPad, man, if you're trying to do stuff on iPads, there's no love for you. They really aren't. Because this thing probably works perfect for a PC or desktop. You know, when I asked him, I, I don't own one. I don't own a PC or desktop. I don't. I don't have no. I don't have no freaking room for. It. I don't want one. Who wants that crap? This here, I can move anywhere. I mean, I can. I literally, I can go outside. I can take my phone, my tablet. Boom, boom, boom. I can do anything. I don't want no. I don't want no big tower or whatever. That's prehistoric. That's dinosaur crap. Jared, you should know this. All right. So, 24 to 48 hours. Let's see if I actually hear back. Alright, here's an update. Just got an email from Don, and Don says that it's about 22 hours later. So they says that they would, between 24 and 48 hours, that they would uh, give me a response. Don says that I need to send it back to them. So they, so I boxed it up, found a small box, and got a postal envelope, so that way you could do one of those, whatever that, the, my wife said that's the cheapest way to ship, so we wrapped one of the bags around the box. And I'm not holding my breath. I'm not. I'm assuming, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I've already heard a few things about ARB's warranties, so 
Well, we'll see. Got an exhaust hanger here. And you're like, what in the world are you doing? I'm letting my hood close on my head. That's what I'm doing. So this thing right here. So your rubber isolator goes right there. Um, I got to tip this thing a little bit. So these things are really tight. They're really, really tight, aren't they? Should we go show them how tight it is? So that's what we got going with the TJs. See how tight it is? I actually put cardboard right here between the hanger and the generate tank. Look how tight it is between the shock. Are you able to see it up in there? Yep. It's really tight, really tight. All right, let me pull this thing out. So what I, the bolt, the bolt like needs to set right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tack this, then I'm gonna shape this piece to it. I'll take that out with a carbide bit. And that's how we're gonna do it. So one of the problems, actually, let me get up. Okay, so two and a half inch exhaust pipe. I'm just telling you is what we've had to do. Uh, <laughs> when you're running, when you're running aftermarket shocks, there's, there's a few things. Aftermarket shocks, long arm, bare exhaust. What does that equal? Problem. Something, a problem, something's got to give. And you you know, it looks like I really beat it in. It's it's not that much. Something's got to give. Remember, because the stock TJ is running what? About a half inch pipe? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, another thing too, I bought some clamps right here. See these right here? Band clamps. Uh, we're not going to, here up here. I'm not going to uh i'm gonna try this right here i'm gonna try these right here and the reason is is with how much we work on our jeeps the exhaust has to come back apart it does in the the u-bolts are they called u-bolt exhaust clamps or whatever they crimp them down they waste your exhaust i previously have always welded it that was, this was welded last time i'm not welding them no more and I stopped it with his. I only partially welded mine. And no, it's gotta be clamped together with something, some either a band clamp or something because they come apart. We gotta take them apart to service different stuff for adjusting, all that good stuff. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see if, um, see if this works. Oh, and by the way, this was my, put, put a piece of plywood down. About the only time you'll ever find the camp bells beating on stuff is just mm. exhaust. <laughs> That's it. Check it out. I'll take that. I got an email from Don. Don says they accepted uh, the return of the ARB digital inflator and they said they're sending a new one out. So good thing we weren't dealing with Jared. <laughs> so Don's the man who's taking care of us. So they're shipping out a new one. So I guess the warranty's working. I don't think it turned out that bad, but you be the judge. That's what we got right there. I don't know. Yeah, so this is the back side, front side. And it actually, um, it's okay. I mean, it's an exhaust hanger. Spray a little black on it, but either way. Here's another thing. There's an episode with uh, Fryburger uh, from uh, Motor Trend. Um, that Fryburger. He and he ends up they end up two actually different episodes uh they have a motor on the dyno they're beating in header primary pipes and affecting 
they're they're watching the dyno numbers and it's it's changing literally nothing you know by them clearancing uh, primary pipes on there and then i watched another pipe where they had to do something similar so i mean you're not you're not decreasing some people be like well you're taking that down to two and a quarter or whatever you're just flattening this right here and actually this pipe when you smash it down actually got taller this way a little bit so yeah you took the volume down there but you've actually increased it here some so I'm not saying it's flowing any better uh, but I'm just saying you gotta do what you gotta do to make it clear and this seems I've never seen it in a video I've never seen this in a video uh, and finally with Harley's I was like I was like we can't have that thing rattling back there I was like we're gonna have to clearance the thing so yeah okay update so it's been a week got my hair cut cut um but yeah it's here got a new one yeah so I, it wasn't even a week so i was impressed what i'm saying by that is sending the unit back to them and them sending us one it's like a week basically yeah um uh, this here check this out i don't think that looks too bad yeah and what do you think of that graphite tip so i kind of i switched to this because previously my other tip was polished stainless or whatever and it was it was throwing stuff up so the wheel here was throwing stuff up on the tip and it was staining it so i was like here about that <laughs> um i was like hey how about i throw a graphite tip on there i'm gonna see if about taking some acetone seeing if i can get Fazen Junben, <laughs> whatever I pronounce that, but yeah, so I do got a little bit of clearance back in there. Not much. Quarter inch. Of course, as soon as I take the cardboard off on that, I'll have maybe three eighths to a half, but not very much. Either way, I'll take it. All right. See us.